A memorial march took place on Saturday to honor the Brainerd soldiers from the 1942 Bataan Death March. Sarah Winkleman brings us that story. 33 American flags line the street to represent the 33 Brainerd soldiers lost in Bataan. We had six POWMIA flags out there. That's significant to cover six days of the march. And we need to remember it was in tropical heat. The people were starving. There was no water. Putting into perspective the true heroes in the community. We're a country that's uh, free because of the brave. And those are some of the brave people from the Brainerd area that really gave a lot. Nearly 300 individuals left from the Brainerd Armory on Saturday to walk or run either 13 miles or the full marathon in honor of the POWs. It's kind of humbling. It, it really is because, you know, for all the, the trials and tribulations we think we have and all the things that we think we've been through, they're really pale in comparison when you look at what these men did and, and not only what they, what they endured, but they survived the worst of the worst that any enemy had to, had to offer. Something that many of the members of the 194th Regiment hope to teach the younger generation. This is, this is pretty awesome. And, and the thing about it, you saw a lot of young people out here today. They are learning about our history. A history that urges, remember Bataan, never forget. It gives a sense of purpose to the community, a sense of pride. And, uh, and you know, one of the world events that happened in World War II, they, they had participants in that. And they're proud of those individuals, those that made it back and those that didn't. One Brainerd soldier still remains missing in action since the march 75 years ago. Reporting in Brainerd, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. The 194th Regiment is still in action today and has sent units to Iraq three times. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.